Hey guys, uh, it's been a while. Uh, I really have been uh, stupidly busy. Um, just on my way to uh, head off to um, a wedding. So I've uh, got to entertain a wedding this evening. Uh, but I do have a little bit of time before I have to go, so um, I thought I'd spend this time uh, sharing something with you. Now, I really don't know when I'm going to uh, actually get enough time uh, to share something with you again, so uh, we're going to do something right now. Now, we're going to go, um, as always, uh, straight from a thoroughly uh, mixed deck. I'm going to take uh, some cards, and I'm actually going to place uh, half of the cards here, half the cards there. Um, and in case some people think that uh, they really haven't been shuffled, then... Uh, I'll actually shuffle them again. So we'll uh, shuffle this half so we can clearly see that they really are being fairly shuffled. And we're going to shuffle this half um, so we know that these are being uh, fairly shuffled just like this. Now we're actually going to go uh, one step further than that. Uh, we're going to take uh, some cards from each pile and we're going to turn them face up just like this. We're then going to mix uh, the face up cards into the face down cards, uh, something like this. And we're going to take uh, these cards over here and mix these cards uh, in the, the face down cards just like this. Um, <laughs> so basically we end up with cards that, that um, face up and face down throughout the deck. Uh, and we also get the same over here where we have cards that are face up and face down throughout the deck. We're then going to take the two packets and we're actually gonna shuffle them all together just like this. So now um, I think it's fair to say uh, <laughs> we have an entire deck uh, in what's called a mess. Now I'm gonna try and uh, do something kind of strange. Um, it's not an easy thing to do, but I'll, I'll try my very best. Uh, you'll have to give me a moment. See 23 face down cards. Eight. Eight what? Eight black eight black cards. I can see eight black cards. That's interesting. Uh, let me just check that. Every remaining red card is a number card. With one exception. Seen the Jack of Diamonds. Definitely seen the Jack of Diamonds. Okay, guys, um, let's find out together. I could clearly see 23 face down cards. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Face down cards. I wasn't quite sure what the eight meant uh, originally, but uh, it was eight black cards. I, I I could see eight black cards, so let's find out. Make sure I haven't missed any. Okay, let's count them together. Eight black cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black cards. I could also see every remaining red card was a number card. 
with one exception, the Jack of Diamonds. Let's find out. Every single red card is a number card with just one exception. Jack of Diamonds. Now there may be some out there thinking, well, when he was looking down, uh, shuffling all the cards then, he was probably able to, to count all of the face down cards as they, they quickly went down. And because there was face up cards, he was able to uh, remember which ones were, were actually in the deck. So that means uh, he'd actually know uh, by default which cards would be in the face down pile because he was looking at all the face up cards. It's only when you watch this video a second time you'll realize that when I started counting the cards down, that was the first time I actually looked at the cards. So, is this, uh, the sixth sense real? The ability to see without being able to see? The ability to know without being able to know? Or is it just an illusion? I think I'll leave you decide on that one. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. And hopefully I'll be able to see you all again soon. Have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye now.